The word reform has been a popular one in Chicago politics for decades. But there are those who say that to reform city government is not necessarily to improve it. Mayor Washington, as you've heard, insists that it is time now for reform. And he has vowed to implement a reform agenda since the very first day he took office. Help me institute reforms and bring about the revival and renewal of this great city while there is still time. Business as usual will not be accepted by any part of this city. Business as usual will not be accepted by this chief executive of this great city. Both before and after his inauguration 100 days ago, Harold Washington made a lot of promises about reform at City Hall. But will the mayor be able to keep those promises? Nearly half the voters questioned in our Channel 2 Sun-Times News poll, 49% think he will reform city government. However, there is much more skepticism among whites than among blacks. 33% of white voters or only one out of three, agree that the mayor will reform city government. But 72% of blacks, or nearly three out of four, think that he will. Indeed, Washington is already moving on some of his major reform proposals, agreeing in federal court to prohibit political hiring or firing of the vast majority of city employees, drafting an executive order on freedom of information at City Hall, severely limiting the amount of money that city contractors can contribute to his political fund and helping to open up the city's budget-making process. When will you recognize this? You're out of order, Mr. Dillon. When will you recognize this whole procedure? I will is out of order the way you're conducting that chair. But when the mayor brought his style of reform to the city council, there was a political explosion, an explosion that split the aldermen into two warring camps a 29-member majority led by Edward Bredoliak, and a minority supporting the mayor. Almost everything else that has happened in Harold Washington's first hundred days has been overshadowed by that bitter battle in the council. Both factions in the council uh, have not in every case acted responsibly, and I'm not particularly happy about that. Well, in city government, we finally have uh, a democracy. We have a uh, real balance of power. Uh, system of checks and balances. We have uh, a give and take between the executive and legislative branches of government. I think that it has been a very exciting, very interesting, sometimes frustrates, frustrating, but nevertheless uh, progressive three months. Well, Mr. Mayor, whether or not it's been progressive, a lot of people think that some of the reforms that you've instituted, particularly getting rid of patronage or limiting patronage, is weakening your political power to get other reforms through. Isn't that true? Absolutely not. As a matter of fact, I take this opportunity to declare publicly victory. We have opened up the city council as we said we would. I have a witness, Mr. Burke, who says now we have a separation of powers. We have a council which is oversighting and, uh, and making accountable the mayor. That's what we wanted. That's what we got. There is a price to pay for that is the price that you don't have control of the council and you don't oh, have full control of city government. I have control of city government. There's no question about that. That's never been debatable. That's not the issue. I don't have control of the city council. I don't want control of the city council. That's what the fight was all about. That was the reform that ushered in Mayor Byrne and she wouldn't institute it, so I'm sitting in her place instead. We're going to have a reform city council. It's going to come about. But I don't want to control the city council. I want the city fathers, all 50 of them, to do their job as this, this chief executive is doing his job. I want oversight, not obstructionism, not standing in the way, but cooperation, and we're getting it. Some of your supporters have said that they don't like what you've done with patronage. They want you to keep that in effect. They don't like this Shackman ruling. They want you to get rid of the old guard and put them in, give them those jobs. Patronage is dead. I stomped on his grave, and I assure you it's not alive, and it's never going to be resurrected during the 20 years I'm in office. It's gone. People ask me to get rid of it overwhelmingly, more than 70%. Many people who didn't vote for me, probably never would vote for me, were opposed to the passion system. It's gone. There are no spoils. The right question to ask this mayor is what can you do to uplift the level of the human condition for people in this city? And you get all kinds of responses you want. The people who will work for this city will be people who have the qualifications to work for the city, be they black, white, male, female, Hispanic across the board. Still ahead, a look at the next 100 days and beyond. Bernard Epton received 48% of the vote in the general election against Harold Washington. Now, in our news poll, only 24% of the voters admitted they voted for Epton.